Bo is willing to go over mountains for Earl. It's a little bit one-sided. <laughs> he never stopped trying to be friends with Earl. I think he's tried a bajillion times. Oh. You can't even quantify how much Bo wants to be close to Earl. On a scale of one to 10, in terms of how badly Bo wanted to be friends, I would probably say infinity. Oh. Oh. Bo just wants to be Earl's BFF. Earl probably sees Bo as an annoying coworker almost that won't leave him alone. When he laid eyes on Earl for the first time, sorry Earl, he couldn't control himself. He has to see Earl no matter where he is. Just keep his eyes locked on Earl. Bo's version of giving up is still being within three feet of Earl. After two years, Earl is finally willing to just accept Bo. Earl eventually just gave up and said, okay, this dog's gonna be in my life whether I like it or not. It's a respectful distance. When we saw Earl rub up against Bo for the first time, it kind of felt like we won a mini lottery. I think it was a change on both Earl and Bo's part. They were starting to get used to each other. They can even lie within a few feet from each other. Just to see Bo and Earl coexisting together is such a relief. You can play with this Earl. Since Bo wasn't getting the best friend level status that he wanted from Earl, we decided to get him a little surprise. Once he got his nose on it and saw that it kind of looked like his friend Earl, he was very intrigued. We activated his new friend. It was game on. Obviously, this can't replace Earl. Oh, is this what you would do to Earl? Hopefully it gives Bo some of that feline companionship that he seems to so desperately want.